Hey everyone, I'm Scott Stokely and this is my hot take on what we need to do to address the uh, recurring situation of spotters getting hit with discs because it happened to Double G this weekend at Leadstone. I remember last year it happened to uh, AB in Las Vegas and uh, I mean it's not the only time it's ever happened. So let me start by addressing the spotter that got hit at Leadstone directly. Thank you so much for standing out in the hot sun for four days and making all of our experiences better. Uh, anyone that's critical of any of the spotters or it, look, for that matter, any of the volunteers that are out there donating their time just to make this experience better for us, like I got, like I've got absolutely no tolerance for anybody that craps on anybody who's volunteering out here. And by the way, the people crapping on them, that it, it is a minority. 99% of the people appreciate everything you guys do so much. So here's the situation. We have spotters. It makes the game flow. They help find our discs. They help make our experience better. But when you stick a bunch of people out on the course and a bunch of people are throwing Frisbees around, things are gonna happen. So the question first is, what do we need to change to address it? And I don't think we need to change anything. So hear me out. <laughs> One of my favorite expressions about America is, America doesn't react. America overreacts. Like there's this tendency when something happens to, to swing the pendulum so far to the other side and, and so overcorrect that we, we make things worse by doing it. Like, remember a couple years ago when Eagle threw that grenade to hit the cameraman in the head? My very first thought when I saw that was, oh, oh my God, I hope that guy's okay. Immediately after my next thought was, great, now they're gonna make every single staff member on the pro tour wear a helmet because that's what I expected to happen. I expected there to be this massive overreaction to one incident. And I don't think you should do that when like an accident happens. It's literally by definition an accident. It's, it's, it's human nature, people make mistakes. I have been hit with a disc before and I've been doing this longer than any of you. <laughs> And, and I've actually like misjudged the disc in, in the heat of the moment in a split second decision and been hit. Like if it can happen to me, I'm sorry, it can happen to all of you. Accidents happen. Now, it has happened more than once, right? And, and if something happens a number of times, then that's not an overreaction and that's something you need to, to deal with. And at some point, the question is, does it happen so much that you need to make changes? And I, I'm on the fence. Like I don't think we need to change anything, but I, I get why you could. But, but here's the thing. The change that I've heard suggested most was, well, then we should play the disc where it was going to be had it not hit the spotter. That's making the, the, the solution worse than the problem, I think, because the minute you start doing that, you add subjectivity into well, was it gonna be here? Was it gonna be 30 feet away or 40 feet away? Was it going to potentially hit, like in the, in the case of the roller, could it have hit something else? I don't know, I didn't see behind him enough to see. Was there another tree, like, or, or a stake in the ground? Or was a squirrel gonna run by and, and keep the disc out of bounds anyways? I mean, there's no way to tell where it's gonna be. So to make that judgment call, I just don't like. You know, one of the best rules in disc golf are mandatory drop zones when you have an out of bounds for certain out of bounds when you can't really see where it went out of bounds or whether or not it crossed. I mean, that's great because you take the subjectivity out of it. You simply say, if you land in there, stroke and drop zone. There's no question of it, was it here or was it there? Was it behind the tree? Did it touch? Uh, anytime we can take that part out of the game, it's a good thing. Uh, we take it out of the game if we simply say, unfortunate accident, you're still out of bounds. Um, and by the way, let's, let's, not, let's not forget, if the unfortunate accident was, it was going to stay out of bounds and it accidentally hit the spotter and went in bounds, what would we do then? Would we say, oh, 
Well, it was going to stay out of bounds. I knew you were going to be out of bounds, so we're going to give you a penalty stroke when the disc is safe. You can't do it. So I think what we do right now is we say it's an accident. It's a game. We're playing a game. This is not life or death stuff here. Uh, yeah, I might have caused double G a stroke. He's a great guy. He can deal with the stroke. He's a professional. It's okay. He'll get over it. He, he was probably over it the second it happened. So I think there's nothing to be done about it. I don't think we need to overreact. I don't even think we need to react. You know, if we do react, I don't know what solution would be better than the problem. So I say we, uh, we leave it as is, and every once in a while, we get an unfortunate Instagram reel. Anyways, that's my hot take.